Hello, hello, hello. Tanya to know. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit. And get comfortable, because we're about to make it do what it do, love, okay? The planes will fly, the smoke detector will beep, the kids will yell, fight, and scream. I sing, I curse. If any of that is going to be a problem, now is the time for you to click off. If not, come on in, baby. Stay a while. Like, subscribe, comment, share. We're going to jump into this divine connection. Read. See, twin flame, twin ray, high level soulmates, life partners, um, distorted twins, distorted masters, distorted sims, divine energies, okay? Karmic energies. Let's see what's going on for the divine connections at this time. Okay, two more shuffles, that's one. That's two. Let's get into it, babies. In the name of the Mother, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What's going on with our divine connections? I do need to jump. What's the message for our divine connections at this time? Okay, so something's coming in here in the future days, weeks, or months. I do see someone getting on the right path, on the right road, headed towards you here. Someone could be coming towards you. You could be leaving something. Somebody could be traveling here. Yeah, somebody could be traveling towards you to come and put an offer on the table here, babies. It says um, offer, proposal, or commitment. So there could be an offer, a proposal, or a commitment coming in the next few days, weeks, or months. But it's, it's coming in very soon here, guys. Yeah, this is with someone who you have had a pause with. Someone that you have not been in conversation with, com communication. I don't know, you haven't conversated with this person. You haven't been in communication with this person. There has been a pause here. Something with the timing in the past. Timing was not right. This person could possibly come and ask you out for movies and a drink. Out on a date here. Movie and, and, and for drinks here. So there was some type of trigger. This is why it's a pause. This person is being triggered while you guys are in separation. So this person can be being triggered to come towards you to come in and make this offer to give this proposal to, to have this commitment here. The ancestors, the spirit guys here could be throwing um signs and synchronicities towards your person here while you guys are in separation. Your name could be popping up, the type of car you drive, um, a place they could possibly be thinking they see you in certain places and shit, or they're driving by places that you guys were together, they're reminiscing here. Give me one more for the divine connections. Yeah. Somebody is feeling bad. Um, they could have, with this tragedy, forbidden love, they could have acted like they did not want this connection here. They could have tried to block this connection block your love there could have been something going on here that kept this person from giving you their love as well but they know that there was some type of deadline here tick tock time is running out yeah so this person wants to come back and come together here Divine connection. So let's get a little bit deeper. What's going on with spirit? When it comes to our divine connection. So this person wants to come in and they want to make an offer to the collective, but you guys are in separation. There's a pause. And while you guys are in this separation, this person is being triggered. Some of you guys, this person could be, be being triggered by a third party, um, a connection they're not supposed to be in, and they're having a hard time here. Clarify projected future days, weeks, months. Yeah, see, whoever this was, I feel like in the past, they felt like they were never satisfied. 
they just wanted to play around. You know what I'm saying? It's a masculine energy here. Very handsome masculine energy as well. So I feel like they had their own, you know, pick of the litter here. And they, they could have been this playboy, playgirl energy. So they were not trying, yeah, they were not trying to get into a commitment. Slow progress. They were they were not trying to come with an offer here. And you could have walked away from this connection here. Clarify on the table, moving in. Yeah, so now this person wants to move in together. They want they want um either to leave permanent items in your home or they want to get a home with you and you guys have a permanent place together. Yeah, whoever this was, they were playing fake single. They were acting like they wanted to be single, like it was okay. Like they wanted to they still wanted to have third parties and shit here. But in actuality, they really wanted a commitment. Clarify interlude here. Pause timing factor. Yeah, see, this person was selling you a false dream. So you walked away from this connection. You, you, you thought, yeah. This person told you exactly what they thought you wanted to hear. Yeah. And you walked away, but what you may not have realized is when you walked away, because this person was selling you a false dream, you ended up having the upper hand. You ended up having the advantage. You have the leverage here. Clarify triggers. Conspiracy. Yeah, see, there, like I said, there could have been a third party here that uh, is triggering your person. Conspiracy. Other people were plotting to keep you guys apart. They were causing... They were causing this person to be triggered. They were causing this person to sell you false dreams. This is why this person pretended like they didn't want something. This is why they pretended like they didn't want a connection when in all actuality, they want to come put an offer on the table. They want to live with you. Look, bottom of the deck. Building. Wants to build or start a family with you. Clarify tragedy. Yeah, see? This is another woman, third party. Scent the smell of someone else on them. So yeah, this was a third party. Yeah, they had sex with a third party. Hidden sexual secrets. So this is a third party that they were having sex with that does not want you guys together. And they they had this person in the energy of selling you this false dream. Yeah, bottom of the deck, the great pretender. Acts uninterested but stalks you. Yeah, they gave you mixed signals. Maybe. Yes, no, maybe. Wanting your attention, but then partially pulling away. You had enough of that. Yeah. Pick you back up. Pick up from how things were left. See, this person want to pick back up from where it was left off. But this person was selling you false dreams and you had enough. And now this person is being triggered by whoever this third party is. This third party could possibly know that this person has sex with someone else or they're finding out that the third party has sex with somebody else. Let's see. Yeah, because this person truly is elated when they're around you. Pure joy at the thought of you. Yeah, lit. Passion burning for you. This person has a lot of passion for you. Inspector exploring possible options with you. So this person really did want to explore more options with you, but they allowed whoever this third party was to come in and trigger them, to cause them to come in and say you these false dreams, which had you to walk away from this connection. Connections. Okay. Let's a little bit deeper, guys. Clarify projected and bothered here, spirit. It was a toxic ass relationship here. And it says, My family told me he was a serial cheater. I should have listened. Damn. So somebody found out 
that the third party was cheating. Told you. Came home with the smell of someone else on them. That shit was toxic. Whoever the the well one of the people, the feminine energy, they, they could be an alcoholic, they could possibly drink. They're fine on the table and moving in. So now your person is walking away from whoever this is they found out cheated on them. Yeah, it could have been their baby mama or their baby daddy. With this, we're pregnant. Yeah, I love us, but I will protect my family at all costs. So yeah, whoever this baby mama, baby daddy is, they came in and caused your person to want to, to, to move away from you, to stay away from you. They could have told this person that you was a cheater, that you were toxic, to keep them from coming towards you. They <laughs> So this person sold you false dreams. Yeah, fuck this. They didn't want they didn't want this person to come towards you because you was the empress. Don't try to play me. I know my worth in that order. And you out here being positive. Stay positive, work hard, and making it happen like a boss. So you out here being a boss. Look. So this baby mama, whoever this was, possibly told your person that you was a cheater. You was toxic. You was an alcoholic. You was all this negative shit, right? So that this person would move away from you put a pause in between y'all connection here because they seen that you was the empress out here you was out here making shit happen and you was triggering this person so you you triggered these third parties that's where the trigger came in you triggered them the other people so it could have been a baby mama a baby daddy could have been family members here but they were mad see they're spying there's something about you that triggers me you trigger whoever this baby mama is. But this baby mama got caught up with somebody else. A third party. Clarify triggers. Yeah. If you knew about my dark past, would you still love me? Yeah. This this this, this baby mama that got caught up. Maybe this baby is not this, this person. Yeah, they tried to trap them. They tried to trap the masculine energy in this connection. Because they did not want this person to go towards the emperor, the boss. Yeah. But divine feminine, you're protected from harm. I feel like this divine masculine was protected from harm. From whoever this third party is that your person was having sex with or had had sex with in the past. Yeah, see, I feel like whoever this person is, they were a good daddy. This masculine energy. They're 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 a good person. Okay. And this person should have listened to their intuition when it came to this third party. This person could be sitting back now listening to their intuition when it comes to you, Divine Fem. Yeah, because they see you as a power couple. So they're sitting back now. You guys were protected. This this person's protected from whoever this third party is. They're they're protected from whatever this entrapment was. Okay. Um, it could have been this pregnancy, or this could have just been their baby mama, baby daddy, somebody they already have kids with, right? And this person just this baby mama, baby daddy, they toxic. They a cheater. They constantly running around with third parties. Um and shit, your person could have been like that too. You know, but they just kept coming back together. But when your person met you, they they no longer wanted to be in this toxic ass energy. They wanted to settle down with you. They wanted to come in and give you an offer. They wanted to do something long term with you. And this baby mama was like, or baby daddy was like, nah, fuck this shit. And when they looked into you, after they found out about you, they found out she was an empress or an emperor, right? And And you know your worth. And you wasn't playing no games. You out here being positive and working hard and you making shit happen. So when things wasn't coming in your favor, you wasn't getting the offer that you wanted because this person was still playing around with whoever this karmic energy is over here. You walked away. But that that fell right into this karmic's plan because that's what she wanted. Or that's what he wanted. They wanted you to walk away. But by you walking away, it backfired on the karmic. The karmic thought that if you walked away, 
this masculine would just pull away from you. But because you guys have this connection, it made the masculine want you more. The masculine couldn't get enough of you. And I feel like with this protected from harm, the universe, the angels, the archangels came in and stepped in to protect this person from being trapped. They could have came back and said they were pregnant with another baby, right? To hold this person, to keep this person stuck. And the truth came out. Your person is now listening to their intuition when it comes to you guys as a couple. Like I said, somebody's sitting back. They smoke it. They're thinking about possibly this baby mama. And they're thinking about the connection they have with you, collective. Yeah, they're thinking about the betrayal. Watch your back, your friend, excuse me, watch your friends around your man, girl, just saying, this baby could belong to the friend. Yep. There's some housewives of Atlanta shit here, yeah. This baby right here, this bitch could have got drunk and had sex with somebody else because they're a cheater. And, and try to blame this baby on your person because she didn't want your person to leave. I love us. I'll protect her, my family at all costs. Yeah, she did. She was in love with your person. She didn't want this person to go. Baby mama drama. So, they, like I said, they could have already had a kid. Or she said she was pregnant to hold on to your person. And the truth has come out. Because it was just to keep this person trapped and stuck. Yeah, because your person was happy. Was finna be happy. This person pretended to be a good mother. But you're the good mother here. You're the... You're the soulmate to this good daddy. The spiritual connection. That's where the joy was. And they didn't want you to have that. They didn't want your person to have that. and you, Because you was all over here laughing. Please up your game laughing all the way to the bank. This is that divine feminine energy. That empress energy. Put some, we didn't put no, no um, tarot on this. Let's put some tarot on this. Who's that? Somebody crying. Hold on, y'all. Let me grab this other deck. Somebody crying. Hold on. Cares about your needs. That's that divine feminine that cares about the divine masculine's needs. And they share this divine masculine's dreams. They're here to give them the love in the bad times. Clarify. Thank you. Yeah, Ten of Swords, there was betrayal here. There was betrayal when it came to this baby mama or baby daddy. Now there's sadness, grief, pain, backstabbing, betrayal, and having enemies, hitting rock bottom, being overly dramatic, bad-mouthing you behind your back. That's what this baby mama is doing, or the baby daddy is doing. Yeah, they were taking action and being adventurous, being the warrior, courageous, free spirit, and full of energy, being swept off your feet, determined and passionate. They're, they're mad, talking shit, because this is the energy your person is coming towards you. They're coming in to take action. They're, they're in this warrior energy. They're being courageous. They're a free spirit. They're full of energy. And they're coming in to sweep you off your, your feet. And they're determined. And they're very passionate about you in this connection. And that's just put pissing this baby mama, baby daddy off. Page of swords. Yeah, so your person's going to head towards you to speak out. They're going to come speak their truth. Okay. They're going to give you that, some, some true, honest knowledge. They may give you some information that you did not know. This person is coming in very quickly, thinking on their feet, and they're using their head at this time. They're also taking in consideration your point of view and others' opinions. And they're questioning everything and looking for the truth at this time. This page of swords is also watching you. If you got some type of internet, you out here making your money. If you make your money on the internet, boss moves out here, they watching you. They stalking you. They see you moving forward quickly. I also feel like divine feminists could be you taking off leaving this this divine masculine because you felt like you were betrayed as well because they were still playing with a third party situation. Yeah, the devil. They were still in a lower negative energy. 
and and they had disregard for your feelings, obsessive lust, violence, with assault and abuse, material focus, and falling for temptations. They fell for the temptation of this baby mama or baby daddy. Yeah, and the lies and the sneakiness with this and the delusions with the moon. They're being in a dream state, heavy illusions. Intuition is your guide. Hidden information is secrets. Fear and anxiety come in the surface. Unsure about love or relationship. This baby mama in this lower negative ass energy caused your person. They fill them with these illusions and shit so that they will betray you. And then they sat back to watch to see if. If it took effect, because you're out here in this Queen of Pentacles energy here, Divine Femme. High social status, a social butterfly, financially stable and independent. You're down to earth. You're a natural healer. You're loyal. You're trustworthy. You're the welcomer. You're kind hearted. And, and that pissed this baby mama, baby daddy off. It triggered them because they're a lower negative ass energy. And you're vibrating high. So, of course, it triggered them. They felt like they were losing their grip on their person because they felt like, you know what I'm saying, this person leveled up when it came to you. You know, when you walk away from somebody and, and they, they go to the next person, you know, her ego didn't want or his ego didn't want to see this person get somebody better than them. They wanted to see them go down. You know what I'm saying? You can't do better. Your life ain't going to be good without me. That type of energy. And when your person met you you was 10 times better than whoever this lower negative energy is even if you didn't have more just because you vibrated higher you knew how to manifest you know how to call in whatever it is you need and 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 you walk and live in a peace here because you higher vibrational then this motherfucker down here that's constantly angry constantly mad always upset always got their face snarled up and shit Yeah, see, this this person was causing your person to be stuck, keep, keeping them unable to make a decision. And since they couldn't make a decision, you made a decision for their asses. You got the fuck on. You walked away from this. Yeah, because activities and move, movements have stopped. You you was like, cool, fine. And now this person can't do nothing but watch. You're, you're meditating and finding your inner peace at this time. You, you're looking at things differently here. And you're moving forward. Yeah, because you will not be a choice or an option here. Yeah, so now this person wants to come in and offer you this brand new offer of love, this cup of love. Emotional awakening and love. New or old lover approaching. Emotional gesture and affection. My feelings are involved. Love offer that brings good news. So now this master is coming towards you to bring you this offer of love. The good news that they should have brought you in the past, right? The star, they want to heal it. Having faith that brings hope and inspiration, renewal of oneself, spiritual healing and rejuvenation, healing from past wounds, finding a higher purpose in life. So they want to come in and heal. They want to offer you this love. They see you as this queen of pentacles, man or woman. They're coming in with quick communication here, fast movement and progression, quick reaction and picking up the pace. You're going to be active and energetic. There's some type of good news coming your way here. Fast communication and ready to take action. When it comes to bringing this Queen of Pentacles, this love offer, they see you as a star. They have been in hermit mode, doing some soul searching and self discovery. They they have been loners, solitude when MIA. They've gotten some inner guidance and wisdom, and they're going through some type of spiritual enlightenment at this time. Yeah, this person is learning to defend themselves, stand up for themselves here. They're being protective and ready to protect what's theirs. They're setting boundaries and relationships, possibly with these baby mamas, baby daddies. They're holding their own and they're maintaining control under pressure or when they're under attack here. So your person even got some type of backbone when it comes to this family, friends, third parties, baby mama, baby daddies here because they want this spiritual connection here with you. They know they have a bond with a good, good mom and a good dad. That's a soul connection. You guys are a power couple. You make this person happy. They know it's a spiritual connection. And they have been going within and they're being guided. They want to have equal give and take here. And they're giving thanks for all that they have and what they've received. They're being compassionate and supportive. They want to come in and show kindness and generosity. And they, they, they want to be 
Well, they don't want to be. They are okay with sharing what they have here. They want to, to come in here and give you whatever it is you want, whatever it is you need here, Divine Femme. Okay, baby. So I'm going to close this read out. There is, they see you at the world. There is victory and success here, okay? Before it cuts off. Yeah, passionate new beginning. So if this resonates with you, babies, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Mwah! Bye, my TT babies.